Hey, Josh, so tell me again what we're doing with the OnlyFans. We're just putting exclusive content up that our that our fans can can engage with, you know, because these other platforms are, you know, there there's so many bots. There's so many bots, Diego. So let's put the exclusive stuff on OnlyFans so that they can see what's actually going on with you and I without all those without all those fake filters where the narrative's not going to get promoted. There we have total control here. Okay, well someone said that you were um making it look like it was kind of uh I don't know, like we were selling like sexual images of me or something. Diego, would I do that? Would I would I exploit you that way without telling you? Huh? I mean, I told you not to look at the OnlyFans, but I told you that because I want you focused on fighting. I don't want you thinking about what I put on OnlyFans. And if anybody tells you a thing like that, I think the best thing to do is to cut them out of your life because you did just disown people from your family, right? All right, Jesse on fire. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I am shocked that no one has done this video or if they have, I haven't seen it. Okay, so I went on Diego's OnlyFans and I don't even know if calling it Diego's OnlyFans would be accurate. This is Josh Fabia's OnlyFans where Diego is being exploited. I mean, there's literally no other way to look at this. It's mind blowing, okay? So what I'm gonna say right now I'm going to say having no direct evidence other than common sense, having having reviewed it. I'm going to say that Diego has literally nothing to do with the OnlyFans other than Josh convinced him to let him run an OnlyFans where he uses his pictures, etc. Like you look it's it is you when I show this to you guys, you guys are just going to be like, "No way." You know you like that type, but yeah. Yeah. You know you like that type, but but you know what? You don't know, but you could know for five bucks, okay? If you want to see how tight that butt is, cost five dollars, son. And this is not being exploitive. This is me helping Diego. We're gonna we're gonna do an OnlyFans. I'm gonna sell images of his tight butt. And then we're gonna split the money 50-50, you know? And he can trust my accounting. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm running it. I'm running it, of course, but he <laughs> Why would he need an audit? You know, Diego, if you're asking me for an audit, all that means is that you're, you know, you need to you need to de go deep inside yourself and ask yourself, why are you asking your best friend for a deep accounting of the financials relating to our co-business? I really need to understand that, you know, because I think really you need to understand that, Diego. You need to really ask yourself, why? Why am I so insecure? What am I still hiding from, right? What am I hiding from? Ask yourself that, you know? Anyway, so I'm gonna go back to doing what I was doing. Uh, what were we talking about? I can't remember. All right, next one. This may not be sex, but it is sexy and enticing. Oh man, I don't know how I'm going to resist paying $4 to see what is sexy and enticing, but not sex on Diego's OnlyFans. What could it be? I have no idea, and I'm guessing that not a lot of people have any idea either if they weren't the one who uploaded the video since who would pay for that? Who would pay for that? Anyway, but yeah, so again, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing, right? This is this is Diego's OnlyFans. This may not be sex, but it's sexy and enticing. This is happening, okay? All right, up next, just a little Diego skin and some more. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What could the more be? I can't take it. Diego skin and more? $5? That's a steal to see what's under that paywall. I wonder if the skin is accompanied by some kind of act that'll do it for me. I just, I can't take it. I gotta buy it. I gotta buy it. Two guys, one shirtless, one with tight little shorts. Can you imagine which is which? I mean, I think probably the tight little shorts are on Diego, but I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to pay $5 to find out because, oh my gosh, the idea of Fabia shirtless and Diego in tight little shorts, I can't take it. I can't take it. Hey Josh, so tell me again what we're doing with the OnlyFans. We're just putting exclusive content up that our that our fans can can engage with, you know, because these other platforms are, you know, there there's so many bots. There's so many bots, Diego. So let's put the exclusive stuff on OnlyFans so that they can see what's actually going on with you and I without all those without all those fake filters where the narrative's not going to get promoted. There we have total control here. Okay, well someone said that you were um making it look like it was kind of uh I don't know, like we were selling like sexual images of me or something. Diego, would I do that? Would I would I exploit you that way without telling you? Huh? 
I mean, I told you not to look at the OnlyFans, but I told you that because I want you focused on fighting. I don't want you thinking about what I put on OnlyFans. And if anybody tells you a thing like that, I think the best thing to do is to cut them out of your life because you did just disown people from your family, right? Like I did, re I mean, I, I know you told me that and I also read it in the press that you disowned your family because they told you that I was, you know, a predator. But what's important is that you continue to do that. Anyone who tells you a lie like that, disown them. And if you get on OnlyFans and you see something that you don't like, I want you to go sit in the corner, blindfold yourself, and I'm going to hit you with a stick. Okay? So, you stay off OnlyFans. Don't talk to your family. I don't care who it is. They want to talk to you about me. You tell them any other topic. And definitely, definitely don't talk to them about anything that's going to be critical of me because we're going to have to just completely cut them out of your life. You know, this is the path to something you know you want deep inside. It is alluring, enticing, and unexpected. Ooh, Nelly. Four dollars to see what I want deep inside. What could it be? I mean, I feel like they're alluding to something. What could it be that they're alluding to? I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling this overwhelming need to just pay the four dollars, you know? <sighs> Do you think it's as naked? Do you think that's what it is? Because if it is, I have to pay. I have to see it. I can't take it. Diego is so hot. <sighs> this isn't exploitive at all. Like, there's nothing about this that, you know, reminds me of a pimp and hoe situation. This is just, this is just a guy who's, who's got a, this guy's best interest at heart. This guy, Josh, definitely has, has Diego's best interest at heart. 100%. 100%. Do you want to see something real and raw go down? I know I do. <laughs> I know I do. But I'm just me, you know? I always want to see things that are real and raw go down. There's nothing weird about this. Nothing at all. Nothing to see here. This is exclusive content you can only find here. A treat for the eyes and ears. Are you ready to be taken on a ride? Well, you know, I feel as though... Um, that's, again, you're alluding to something. Now, in without the other context of, do you want to see my sexy butt? Or, uh, you know, the, uh, I don't know, the other just direct kind of, this is what we're doing here. This one you could actually potentially interpret differently. But since we've seen all the other ones, I think we know that the ride is trying to trap the same audience into some kind of exploitive thing with Diego. If you're telling me Diego greenlit this, I'm going to push back on that. I'm going to put, well, actually, uh, no, I'm not. This guy, he would greenlight anything. He would greenlight anything. The guy, he cut his family out of his life, okay? He cut his family out of his life. Like, he disowned his family because they told him to get Josh out of, unbelievable. I knew you guys would love to see something hot and exciting. <laughs> get ready. Assuming that you have $4. Are you ready to be enticed and exhilarated? Don't miss out on this experience. <laughs> oh boy. This is really, really written by a genius. Like whoever wrote this, I mean, I'm only gonna speculate that it's probably Joshua, but it's the, the winky faces, is it's brilliant. It is brilliant. It's almost like you can't tell what he's doing. It's like, he's, He's, he's cloaking what he's doing so well. You can't even tell that he's exploiting Diego. Set. I mean, like, you can't even tell. Like, you know, just a random person who came to the OnlyFans would not even realize what he's doing. He could both present this as a thing about mixed martial arts and simultaneously sly under the radar. Hey, guys, if you really want to see what I got in this little hoe that I'm pimping right here, all you got to do is pay $4. But let's not be too overt about it, you know. Let's just keep it right under the radar. Oh, dang. Who is that sexy guy? You ready to see? $5. All you have to do is pay $5 to see who that sexy guy is behind the paywall. I, I would imagine that uh, they probably made about $150,000 on this particular. Who could read that title and not immediately click on it? You know? who? I mean, like Josh is literally a marketing genius. When I look at this, I realize... This is not a person that we should be making fun of. This is someone who we should have on a stage teaching us how to properly monetize our brand on OnlyFans or anywhere else. Because clearly, this is a person who's operating at a higher level than us. I mean, look, oh dang, who is that sexy guy you ready to see? Who, who can come up with brilliant, brilliant taglines to suck people in like that unless their IQ is 150 or higher, you know? 
I mean, and, and you also have to, you know, to match the IQ with the EQ, because clearly he understands people on a level that I can't even, I mean, because I, I mean, I'm not even a homosexual and I can barely contain myself. I, I, I like, I, it's taking everything I have not to click on that. You know what I mean? Because that tagline is so brilliant. Joshua, I take back anything that I said in my previous videos. This guy's a genius. He is a genius. Give me a stick and I'll show you what I can do with it. Winky face. Oh man. What do you think he's what do you think he's getting at, you guys? Do you think that he's gonna show us with his stick the way that he fights with it? You think that's you think that's what we're getting at? I don't know. I should probably call Josh and ask, be like, hey Josh, so I don't want to pay four dollars and be disappointed. Like, is Diego gonna be taking that stick and putting it somewhere that's gonna make me excited, or is he just gonna like hold it and I'm gonna feel like you bait and switched me? I'm feeling I'm feeling a little vulnerable right now, you know, and I really, I just don't want to pay four dollars and then be disappointed if this is not some form of sexual exploitation. Like that's that's what I'm into is I want to see a professional fighter sexually exploited. So if that's not what's here, I'm gonna be disappointed, man. So I just, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to pay and then have to call you guys and be like, look, I want my four dollars back because obviously you guys made me think that the stick was gonna be doing whatever, and it turns out that he was just like holding it and swinging it or something. Like I'm not interested in that. If it's not sexual exploitation, I'm not interested. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way in advance. Is it actually sexually exploiting Diego or not? Because if it's not, I don't want to pay the four dollars. Right, that's the only thing I'm interested in. Right, that's it. Now this one I just included because it was so weird. <laughs> Channeling my inner panther. The cat is ready to pounce on you. Okay, so all joking aside, this is the only one that I actually considered seriously buying because I was like, this is so weird. What could this possibly be? I didn't buy it because I'm not contributing to a business that exists to sexually exploit Diego and self-promote this weirdo. But uh, I am curious what's under this paywall. I'm still not paying. But who knows? What, do you, what, what could that be? Someone in a weird, like you know, dressed up like a cat, like, I'm gonna pounce. I'm gonna pounce, I'm gonna do it. Four dollars and I'll pounce on you. Are you ready to see this hot action? Oh man, <gasps> am I ever. You know, I've never been more ready for that hot action, especially if it involves sweaty Diego. Talk to me about what's really behind that paywall, okay? And on the other side, you know, again, this is probably something that would happen if Diego would listen to anyone who's in his life, right? So like we said, Diego disowned his family, okay? In case you guys missed that in the interviews, Diego literally said out loud that he disowned people in his family because they were pushing to get him away from Josh, okay? He said that, disowned them. So I would imagine, you know, uh, conversations like that go a little something like this. So Josh, um, I, I, I spoke to someone and Obviously, you know, I disown them like you said, but I just wanted to ask you about something that they said, you know, they they said that the OnlyFans, I know I'm not allowed to look at it, but they said that that it's like exploiting me sexually and and you're selling you're selling pictures of my body to whoever would want to see it. Like, I don't know, they were they were is that true? I'm sorry, what did, what are you asking? Are you asking me about OnlyFans? I told you not to look at that. Well, I know, but also um you said that we were going to split the money 50-50 and you haven't paid me any money. And so I'm curious if any money's come in because they also said that, you know, the, the pictures are kind of expensive. Okay, so let me just make sure that I understand this. So you're asking me about the OnlyFans that I told you not to look at. And now you're asking me about the accounting relating to the OnlyFans that I asked you not to look at. So I guess the answer that I'm going to give you is I'm going to answer in the form of a question. Why do you think that you feel the need to see any kind of audit or accounting relating to OnlyFans? You know, what does that say about you, Diego? We've been working for months on, on really getting to the root of your insecurities. And I think that what you need to do is I think you need to go over there and I think you need to sit and meditate and ask yourself, why are you asking for this? What, where is this coming from? Right now, obviously you said, I mean, you said that you disowned the people who asked you about this, right? The people who are supposedly so concerned about you, you know exactly where that's coming from. They've been, they've been on the regular social media platforms. The whole reason we went on OnlyFans is because of all the bots and the narrative around you and me. That's just a, uh, their lies, people attacking us and they believe it. And so if they believe the lies, you need to cut them out of your life. I mean, there's just no other way about it. And you said, who did you say it was? Um, it was my mom, right? A toxic person, obviously. Mom, dad, what, those are just names, man. Those are just titles that people give themselves. Okay, mom, 
right? What she ends up being is destructive in your life if she doesn't trust your judgment and she believes the things that she reads online as opposed to her own instincts, etc. I mean, you know, because obviously she's giving you bad advice. If she's telling you to get away from me, she's got to go. And I, and I applaud that decision that you made. I think it's important that you stick to that decision. I don't think you should ever talk to her ever again. I don't think that she should be a part of your life going forward whatsoever. But, in, but beyond that, coming back to the question that you asked me, am I sexually exploiting you on OnlyFans? Are you kidding me? Do you really need to ask me that, Diego? Okay, like whatever I do on OnlyFans is for your benefit. You don't need to even worry about what I'm doing, okay? Anything I do, of course, I'm doing for you, not for me and not for anyone else. Every single thing that I've done, that I've sacrificed to be here with you was in order to help you. And I'm trying to do that right now, okay? So don't talk to me about audits. We could talk about that another time. You know, if you go and you go search your soul and you still feel so empty and so insecure that you really still need to talk to me about those things that you just asked me about, then we can revisit them. But, you know, I think what's most important is that you go inside yourself, search for the search for the root of the problem and, and try to dig it out, okay? So let's not talk for the rest of the day. Go over there, meditate, let's say four hours, okay? I'm gonna go uh, hit somebody with sticks and uh, and we'll go from there, so hop to. Gotta keep it tight and right. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean, Josh. <laughs> I do. But uh, I guess $4, I can see how tight you guys are keeping it. Huh? Click to see some power and a little sexiness in action. Oh my gosh. I love this guy. I think Josh is an amazing person. Okay, so in case I hadn't made it clear in the video as I was talking to each one of these posts, he convinced Diego to cut his family out of his life. I don't know if it's his mom. I was embellished, but he has cut his, he, he said in an interview that he cut family members out of his life. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, like disowned your family. Okay. Now, has anybody ever watched any of the documentaries about Scientology? Okay. So you have, a, do you know how tall, do you know how tall the leader of Scientology is? He's 5'1". Okay. He's 5'1", and he eviscerates people. Like, he's a he's an actual psychopath, okay? But the difference between Josh Fabia and David Miscavige is David Miscavige is a brilliant, he's smart, dude. If you ever see him speak publicly, it's, it's scary how smart he is because he's also an actual psychopath. Like, a real, for real, absolutely for sure psychopath. I, I, I dove down a Scientology rabbit hole for a long time. And I'm telling you, there's absolutely no question. That guy is a psychopathic personality for 100% sure. And, uh, but he's also five foot one. He talks just like Josh, except way more intelligent. You know, it's like this, it's again, I like when I watch this, I watched this, this video that they had on the OnlyFans that was free and it was, he's talking about this dog and I, can, I just see ex I see exactly what he is. And there's another guy that I know really well who's uh, who's also very short, who d did the exact same thing. It's this, it's this way that they talk that is just every part about it is to like project dominance in wherever they are, you know? Like, and, and they, and then they end up thinking they can just roll up on Matt Sarah and be like, hey man, I think you owe the dirt or because most people fold to people who project confidence like that, you know? Then you run into people who are like actually confident and they're like, yeah, dude. Okay, cool. Like you feel a little confrontational to me, you know, and in case you haven't noticed, uh, I'm not really the kind of person that wilts to things like that. So that whole approach, once you back it off, dude, because I don't talk to anyone like you're talking to me, you know, I have like man to man. If you think you're having a man to man, that's not what you're doing. You know, you're putting me in a position where I have to, you know, speak sternly back to you because that's the way you open this conversation. But I mean, literally identical to this dude that I know and I knew him very well. Uh, yeah, but I don't think that's a coincidence that Miscavige is 5'1 and this dude is 5'2. Anyway, it's neither here nor there, but uh, yeah, I mean like this is, <laughs> it's not about Diego. Like, Die I, like I actually feel guilty about my, my other videos because now I can see Diego is straight up like the brainwashed person in Scientology. Straight 100%. As soon as he said, I, I, I 
you know, I had to disown people in my family because that's exactly what they do in Scientology. Sorry, that's the point that I was making. The most fucked up thing that they do in Scientology is if someone starts looking on the internet and telling people like, did you see this thing? There's like a scandal with Scientology. They're not allowed on the internet. They're not allowed to look up any kind of negative stuff about Scientology or else they get expelled and then excised where if you have your whole families in Scientology, they will kick you out and they will tell every single person in your family they're not allowed to speak to you. Okay, a suppressive, uh, suppressive person or whatever. Like, think about that, dude. I'm at, like, I'm moving this week. I'm moving from California to Texas on some shit that I had no control over, forced out of the fucking state. And just moving a couple states over away from my family is like soul crushing, like fucking soul crushing. And we're going to talk, like, see each other all the time. If some fucking dude or an organization took my family from me for real, took my family from me. I, I mean, <laughs> I, here's the thing. People like me don't end up in Scientology. Like, that, like that's the thing. It's like people like me don't end up in Scientology because if people like me ended up in Scientology and then you ended up taking my family from me, it wouldn't take a whole lot of us to... Uh, anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's fucking evil, okay? There's not another word for it. Like, now this has gone from, ha ha, this guy's retarded, to, it's evil, dude. Like, it's, he, he, he made Diego disown his family, man. There's no other word for it, dude. Evil. So, anyway, uh, he's sexually exploiting Diego, and he's a complete joke. And he is promoting himself on this OnlyFans. It's, this is the weirdest thing ever. Anyway. If you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell. Peace.